and welcome to Simon's Product Showcase. My name is Christian and in this video we'll be going over both micro S brick style PLCs. We're going to cover the anatomy and the features included with these products. These are the micro S units, one with 8 digital inputs and 8 digital outputs, the other with 16 digital inputs, 16 digital outputs, 2 analog inputs, and 2 analog outputs because sometimes you just need that one pesky analog input or output. On the bottom of this unit here, we have digital outputs and an Ethernet port. Power is connected to the top of the unit right here alongside the digital inputs. The longer micro S unit has analog inputs and outputs located next to the digital inputs. The USB Mini B tool port is located here towards the top right of the unit. And underneath this flap right here, we have a run stop switch, an analog dip switch to change between voltage or current, and two serial ports, RS-232 and RS-485. On the face of the unit right here, we have diagnostic LEDs to confirm if an input or output is on, whether serial communication is active, or if you're in runner stop mode. On the back side of the unit, we have DIN rail mount clips that allow you to mount to a DIN rail, and they go down and up like this. Now let's talk about the features of both CPUs. They are equipped with two high-speed counters, two positioning channels, otherwise known as pulse train output, and they have 32 loops of auto-tuning PID. Their communication drivers consist of Modbus TCP RTU, User Protocol RTU, and High-Speed Ethernet Link allowing implicit communication between Simon PLCs. And it can also be programmed over a VPN connection. So if you're in California and you need to program a PLC that's in New York, you can do that over a VPN connection. That's it for now. Thank you for stopping by.